Hello and welcome to another game update. Um, this time I've done a lot to uh, finalize the uh, inventory system. Which uh, you've ar probably already noticed the little hot bar that's down at the bottom of the screen. Um, so, yeah, the currently selected slot is in red. Change it using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Use it the number hotkeys or um, because uh, I do a lot of my development on my laptop and so I don't really have a mouse properly and although it, do it does have scrolling obviously it's a bit awkward and so just for that you can also use arrow keys um, yeah that that's mainly just convenience for me while I'm working on my laptop but um, yeah, any item that is uh, in the currently selected slot will be held and uh, it's rotated to look towards the mouse, which that's really going to be just like a visual thing until, it, well I guess even when uh, I implement a ranged weapon that's still mainly just going to be a visual thing. However, the way that I'm getting the angle to do that actually will be used for more than just graphics when I implement ranged weapons. But uh, another thing is, um, you can uh, drag items between the inventory and the hotbar. And uh, while you're holding it, it has a little number there that says how many is in the stack. And if you're holding an item, when you leave the inventory screen, it just dumps it into your inventory. So you don't have to worry about that. So and, um, uh, this what, uh, swapping is actually something I haven't tested yet. Okay, yeah, that, that does work testing live. Yes. Um, it's also possible to use the items and so for example this is a, a fuel can and so it'll refill your jetpack when you use it. Using it is the F key. There you go. Refills it. And, uh, and the test item just does a test use in the form of fun. Yeah. So yeah that's about it really. Not much else has really happened. Um, when you pick up an item, if it'll look in your hotbar to see if you have the item in your hotbar. And if you do, it'll put it there. And if you don't, then it'll put it in the inventory. Um, currently, there's no limit to how many items can be in a single stack. Uh, I currently don't plan on ever implementing a limit. I don't really see how that would make a difference for this type of game. Especially since the um, original plan for this inventory screen is that if you end up getting enough items to fill all of this up, it would just keep scrolling down, which is why there's a scroll bar here. However, due to the fact that there won't be a stack limit, stack size limit, and I doubt I'm going to have enough items to fill this out, I'm actually considering if I should just remove that or just be lazy and leave it in because regardless it's not going to be used I doubt <laughs> I doubt that'll be used <laughs> but uh, it, it would uh, take um, a good 15 minutes of work to remove it and it's really not a big deal if it's left in so I don't know but yeah that's about it so um, oh I don't think I've showed uh, I don't think, um, yeah, I believe, uh, the last update video was, uh, before I did all the AI for Dendron. Yes, yeah, so I've made the Dendron actually not stupid. Which is, uh, quite a hard thing to do with Dendron, but, you know, I managed. Um, so, I guess we can just spawn in a bunch of Dendron here. Lots of Dendron. So, yeah. I'll just, uh, walk around. As you can see, he jumped up here. They know how to jump up. They also know how to jump back down. Which is, uh, knowing how to jump back down is actually a bit more complex than you might expect. Because before they decide to jump down, they first check if it's possible to jump back up. And then apparently, for some reason, sometimes they'll fail to jump back down because they'll end up jumping. And they jump back down. They're not supposed to, but they do. I don't know why they do, but they do. And I'm not going to do anything about it because it's not a big deal. <laughs> so yeah. Dendron. They're smart now. I, I, I 
I've got a ball. Maybe, maybe I should allow you to throw items. And, uh, I should add an, a ball item. And maybe when you throw that, the Dendrin will chase after it. <laughs> it's possible. It, it's within my capabilities. <laughs> It's a, it's really a matter of uh, <laughs> would that uh, fit? Maybe it could be like a hidden item. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? I'll add that to my notes when I finish recording here, um, which will be right now. So yeah, I'll see you.